I've got some fantastic photos of the inside of Disney's Treehouse Villas from the early 80s. Stick around. Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding. Subscribe to my channel to get updated whenever I release new videos on Disney history, Disney books, and amusement parks. Finding Treehouse Villa photos, uh, along with images of almost any 1970s Walt Disney World, can be pretty difficult. Longtime fan of Imagine Nerding, Chad, sent me the following amazing images of his family's circa 1983 visit to Walt Disney World. Chad's father was pressing enough to take some very interesting photographs of the interior of the Treehouse Villas. And I do hope that these Treehouse Villa photos bring back some great memories of vacations past. The first set looks at fishing and the canals near the Treehouse Villas. In this photo, Chad told me that he's the one crouching in the blue shirt. The other people were just random guests. It's hard to imagine a Walt Disney World vacation in which you just hang around by the canals. It is so hard to find vistas like this at Walt Disney World any longer. In this photo, I'm assuming that this is a dock of some sort. It does have a light, but there aren't any cleats visible. Maybe it was just for fishing? Talk about an almost postcard perfect shot. This is the same treehouse villa that's in the first image. Let's move on to some exterior images of the treehouse villas. Here's a photo of the stairwell leading to the deck of the treehouse villa. Chad told me that they didn't rent one of the golf carts, so they had to walk to the bus stop. And he does remember a van picking them up occasionally, but he's not 100% sure. Wildlife was pretty abundant back in the day. This peacock was just hanging around outside and let the photographer get fairly close. What a brazen peacock! Well, aren't they all? Eh. Apparently, he wanted to come into the treehouse villa. Maybe they were used to being fed by guests. Here's Chad sitting on the deck of the treehouse villa. You get a great detail of the furniture, the vista, and that weirdly large lamppost. Let's move inside the villas with some shots of the living room. Again, Chad's father took some amazing Treehouse Villas photos, especially of the interiors. It looks like Chad is hanging out on the couch of the living room of the Treehouse Villas, and he's watching something on television. 1983 was still way too early for Stacy. I did find a list of the television channels that were available in the early 80s. Channel 5 was the in-room continuous information on all of the things to see and do at Walt Disney World. For today's events and special happenings, you could tune to Channel 10 for Around the World Today. Channel 1 was recorded music, and various other channels covered the local stations going so far as St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay. There was also the Lake Buena Vista Hotel Plaza Information Channel, which seems kind of strange today for them to promote that. The walls look like they're covered in wallpaper that extends onto the door, and based on some other images I did in an earlier post, the Treehouse Villas did go through a redecoration at some point before 1983. You can see that the walls had wood paneling and there was shag carpeting. Also, the ceiling beams would be painted a darker color. Here's a view of the family room. The Treehouse Villas had two bedrooms upstairs, along with a family room and kitchen dining area. The downstairs had an additional bed, bathroom, and washer-dryer, but more on that later. Let's take a look at the kitchen. You can see another one of the family room chairs and the spiral stairway that led to the lower level. In this image, you can also see the tile floor of the kitchen and the dining table. The following image shows the Treehouse Villa's kitchen from around 1973. I can't tell if that's a continuation of the carpeting or a vinyl that looks like carpeting. This is an incredible image. The cabinets have been resurfaced and the island is gone. It's been replaced with a large round table and five chairs and was probably too large for the kitchen. I'm assuming that the refrigerator, stove, and dishwasher are the same. The countertops and backsplash were also changed from a wooden laminate to a white countertop and backsplash. 
Based on this photo and the one with Chad sitting on the couch previously, I assume there were fluorescent lights along the ceiling. Granted, it could have been an extension of the windows or skylights. Let's check out the bedroom. The upstairs also had two bedrooms. The Birnbaum Guide states that one bedroom had a king-size bed and the other had a queen-sized bed. The early descriptions state that the lower level contained a den instead of a bedroom. To sleep more guests, they originally had a sleeper sofa upstairs. And sometime around 1983, they must have changed it from a den to a third bedroom. And now, this is what everyone always talks about, the downstairs bedroom. Here's another amazing photo from that time. I can't say how thankful I am that Chad's father snapped these photos. In this photo, you can see down the spiral staircase into the lower area. I mean, who would have thought of taking this photo? A shot of the bottom of the spiral staircase and part of the bed. There's also a nightstand with a lamp. Again, I'm assuming that the brass bar above the bed is a light and the switch controls the light or the ceiling fan. In this other image from the early 1970s, you can see that they had carpeted the stairs. How lovely. So there was tile at the staircase landing and carpet where the bed was. Based on discussions with Chad, the door in the photo above was probably to the small bathroom that had a walk-in bathtub. And apparently it was a bathtub in which part of the sidewall moved for easier access, uh, like, like for a wheelchair. There was also a utility room, which is pictured here. We can see a simple washer and dryer and the lower floor also had a door which led outside. And you can see the giant pole in the middle that helped support the primary floor. That does look kind of spooky. I'd like to take a moment to thank Chad for sharing these incredible Treehouse Villa photos with us. It's very rare to see so many fantastic photos of the inside of the villas. Did you ever get to stay in the Treehouse Villas in the 1970s or 1980s? I would love to hear about it or see any photos that you have. Leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks.